Welcome back, everyone. The Hearts of Iron 4. Federalism. Let's take out the Hunanese traitors once and for all. Excellent. Anyway, uh, what the f fuck? Why are you doing this? Okay. Yeah, so basically... This time we're gonna move north and make a bit of a second northern expedition, as it may. Actually, you know, why don't you just go to Chengde? That would be quite cool. I like how we trapped uh, the Beijing government light tanks in here as well. Oh yeah, quite a lot of light tanks. To be quite sure, good, 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 good. And the enemies over here did have these places, but they don't anymore. No, what are you doing? Move up. Alright. What we're gonna do is we're just going to continue this as much as possible. And by this, I mean the offensive maneuvers. Description prices in Quebec. Oh well, yeah, right, there's been an update. There's been... <laughs> right, there's like a new focus tree for Canada or... Well... It looks pretty... Similar to the one that they had, but yeah, it's still pretty different. Anyway, so basically... Yeah, basically... There's been an update to Kaiserreich, and now Canada has a focus stream. Wait, the car Oh shit, isn't... It's doing this again. Basically, whenever I play Kaiserreich and there's been an update, it really likes to... Um, it really likes to play all the events again, but I think it does it without, like, uh... Without there being actual... Ooh, that was good! I was not expecting them to capitulate, like, instantly. I was not expecting them to capitulate instantly. That's good. Now, we also have some problems down south. And I like how now, basically, these guys are ours. I think, because I think the Hunan... A glorious victory, comrade! Excellent. Because the Hunan click is gone, and these are technically Hunan click divisions? I have no idea, man. Anyway. Let us, uh... Let us finish this mean business. This mean Hunanese business. Nope, Dachi Stenis has joined the Reichs. The Batavian Commune is risen up. Okay. Looks like there's a bit of a Dutch revolution. So now these guys are going to join the International or what? I think. Well, they were definitely in the Reichspakt before. Oh, Machno. Machno is leading the International. Rangers push. Push. So, okay. He hasn't invited back Wilhelmina, or what? I don't know, there's a bunch of weird shit going on with the Dutch. Um, we're not gonna get interested in that too much, because we're busy with our northern expedition. And you know, the Jirli click um, actually owns Fengtian, so once we complete this northern expedition, China's gonna be united under the Guangzhou Federal Banner. Are we still the Guangzhou Federal? No, we're not the Guangzhou Federal Government anymore. We're just the Liangguang Click. Well, I mean, it's gonna change very, very soon. Alright. That's a lot of divisions there, buddy. Nope. That's fine. Alright. Yeah, the enemies are starting to pool up 
a little bit of a stronger force. Which is gonna make things a little bit more difficult for us. But, of course, Peru declares war on Ecuador, because why wouldn't they? Uh, but we're gonna pull up, actually, our Air Force, our secret weapon. Of, like, no planes. And they're all old, but might as well utilize them anyway. This is this is the good time to do it. Okay. Yeah, the amount of troops that we have destroyed, or at the very least trapped, by coming in here is quite good. Yeah, obviously. Obviously all the events are gonna be happening again. Alright, shit. You're actually getting pushed out of Yen Chung. That's not good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna counter by encircling that cavalry division. And I think we can raise the speed up. It's December 1941. That means we've taken quite a bit. You know, I should do a, like, Uniting China speedrun or whatever. I wonder if that would be interesting. Like, you know, let's see how fast it can be done. Wait a second. What happened to all these guys? Actually... I have no idea what happened to all the troops in the Shandong front. Or anywhere, to be fair. Where the hell are they? Oh shit, they have Guilin. That's not fun. Yeah, the sort of guerrilla <laughs> movement over here is uh, gonna be quite annoying. They took the fucking capital of Guangxi over here. And they're gonna get supplies from it. Or, well, I mean, the capital is actually in Nanning, but... I think some of the Guangxi cliques have Guilin as the capital. Alright, we have pretty strong superiority out here. In terms of troop numbers, so let us utilize that. There we go. And let's try to be as efficient as possible with our push north. Insulindia has declared war on the Dutch East Indies. Wait, again? Didn't that already happen? Oh, okay, interesting. That province. Shit, did they counter encircle me? Big brain. Big brain AI. Alright, here they come. Yeah, they, they have, they've got supplies again, which is a bit of an issue. So it's actually a little bit more important to defend bloody uh, victory points than forts in the current situation over here. Or, uh, not forts. Um, not forts, ports. There's a difference. Stop the ports. Alright. Get your ass moving. Alright. We're gonna pop force attack.
All right. We've got our motorized and they're free. So they're gonna come up to the North China Plain where they're gonna be most effective. And come on, encirclement is close. Very good. Took Lin Yi. And now the forces of the Northern Expedition must push on forward. Very good. Continue doing your job. Excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and take Kaifeng. Nice. Take the ancient Chinese capital. Oh, there we go. Ecuadorian events, of course, because that is the most important thing to me right now. Ecuadorian events repeating themselves. Uh, we really need to defend Jin. Okay, Jinning, very nice. Okay. Whoa. Big enemy push over here. Where's the motorized? They are here. I believe they should be... They should be around here because we have a... Easier chance to make a breakthrough out here. Alright, this could be a good encirclement. Everything around Xinyang. So let us actually push more forces into it. Okay. I'm actually gonna get this guy in there. We're actually gonna attack from different angles so that we have a bit of a better opportunity. Okay. Oh, damn it. That could have been even better, but this is already pretty good. Fuck. That's not good. But we can... I think we can counter and circle it again. What the fuck? Alright. Shit, we're gonna get fucked. And I do not have enough command power to make a last stand. That's not good. All right, maybe. And then I'll be there. Shit. This is not good.
Yeah, this this whole front is actually a lot more difficult than I expected, and obviously I've completely forgotten that this existed. But uh, to be fair, if I take Gui Lin, these guys have like no real supply. So they're gonna be left to starve. Um, actually, get those tanks up here. Excellent. Actually, do that. There we go. Now we're gonna get this guy back to his post, and of course we, we bloody lost the encirclement again. In fact, we're gonna get counter encircled if we're not careful. Because these enemy forces don't fucking joke around, apparently. Yeah, we're gonna need to run away before we get encircled ourselves. We need the bloody tank division. But oh well. Okay, at the very least, we finally took down all the troops that were in Hunan. Or, well, are on our way to take down all the guys. Shit. Are we actually gonna get pushed back up here? Hmm, 400,000 casualties is a lot. You still don't have troops. Yeah, you still have a lot of guys. Yeah, taking down Hunan early was a really good idea for us. Because this could have gotten very ugly very fast. Oh, they took back Hanko. That's not good. Let them. If it's if they take Wuchang, that it gets problematic. All right. If I can get this encircled, that'd be quite good, although it doesn't really look possible. I'll definitely try. Yeah, no. Unfortunately, impossible. Let's see if we can retake Hanko. And uh, honestly, the Jilly Click seems to be very, very intent on attacking us a lot. And that's honestly okay. Because this is going to be advantageous for us. Now. We need to get our tanks up so that kit so that they can be more effective and actually fight the important enemies. Yeah, unfortunately the enemies have an air force, which is sad but true. Sad but true state of affairs. All right, get this guy over here. Get these guys 
to the new ports that we have acquired. And yeah. It's okay that they are going very much on the offensive against us because we want them to sort of throw their their equipment away, really, more than men. They actually have 63 military factories, which is a lot. They have more than we do. Whoa! Are African wars finishing? Holy shit. Are you kidding me? African war is actually finishing? Wait. You actually have a war goal on Garaganza. You're actually fucking doing the pink map! What a god. He's actually doing the pink map. Holy crap. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see how that ends up. Man, is this still going on? Farmer labor. Yeah, well, the only sure loser is uh, Mexico. They're definitely not having fun with that. And yeah. All right. My idea is to use the tanks to push like this and like this. Let's see if this if it's possible because that unit over here is already taking heavy casualties attacking us. We're gonna pop uh, force attack so that our tanks are even and more effective. Um, hopefully. All right, come on, stop attacking me for like half a second, if that's possible at all. It's okay if we lose ground up here, because eventually we are just gonna have the uh, Yansa River. Jesus Christ, apparently these guys can win out against us in just a frontal charge. Well, I say no. So what happens if I do this? That just goes that that just goes back to the inexisting Hunan click. Amazing. I actually had that bug once when I played Equestria at War, where it was just impossible to. Yo, we are so very close to an encirclement. Um, I'm clicking? Okay, good. Ten hours, that's amazing. Shit. Shit. Fucking hell, shit. This is not good. Well, oh, actually, this would still be an encirclement if we took uh, this tile. All right, get across the river, that's fine. Uh, I don't think I want that. Right now, my infantry equipment needs to be produced as quickly as possible. Alright, that's... That's enough. Let's just take Hanko. Gotta get that counterattack. All right, fine. Okay. 
Okay. This looks pretty good. This looks pretty promising. We can finally get back on the offensive. Oh my god. They have so many reinforcements all the time. They actually have such a high division count, it's pretty difficult to keep up. Alright, come on. Jesus Christ! They're always able to get reinforcements at the exact, the exact time that they need them at. All right, I see how it is. This is gonna be a slugfest. This is gonna be a slugfest, so yeah. I suppose that's the end of this episode before it gets too repetitive. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon, and uh, yeah, take care.